So one of my viewers actually left me a comment and it was a really interesting question all about the ghost town period. How long exactly does it last? But the weird thing is the message disappeared. Hello YouTube and a very special hello to all my subscribers. My name is Phil and welcome to my channel. This is where I document my journey building an online income. But today's a little bit different because I'm out on holiday with my wife my dog and my mother-in-law. Yeah, don't ask. Hey YouTube and a very special hello to all my scoop. Mia. <laughs> and uh, what we're doing is just having a little weekend away. We're at a place called Sun Moon Lake in Taiwan. It's really, really nice here. And we've just been relaxing for a couple of days. But I did get that question all about the ghost town phase. So this is from the moment you start your actual blog or your YouTube channel to when you start getting traffic or perhaps even start making money. Now everyone measures success in different ways. Some people think this is success. Personally, I measure it like this, moments where you can spend with family and friends. But no matter how you measure success, it's all the same thing. Is what you're doing actually on target? So I wanted to talk about the ghost town phase and my experience of it, but how do you measure it? So what I'm gonna do is go through all my sites and I'm actually going to document when I hit 100 page views, 500 page views and 1,000 page views and I'm only gonna measure organic page views. And that's gonna show sort of when the ghost town is over. That's how I'm gonna measure it. I'm also gonna share all my stats from my two YouTube channels. So that way you can measure it up against what you're doing with your own sites or YouTube. Now, in order to do this, we need to do a little bit of movie magic and then we're gonna to talk to future Phil, who's in the computer. So over to you. Okay, so here I am back home after my holiday back in Taipei and we're looking at the stats. So just a little bit of advice, if your wife ever tells you to take recording equipment with you on holiday, make sure you listen to her. <laughs> uh, sorry that I wasn't mic'd up for most of this video. So what we're going to do is look through the three websites that I've built following the Project 24 method and we're just going to look at the milestones, so reaching a hundred page views total um, in a month or total overall because it's kind of the same thing 500 organic page views a thousand page views and I'm just going to show you how many sort of days how many months it took me to get to that stage just so you can measure it up and we'll look at all three sites like that so let's look at site one to begin with okay so uh, to get to about 100 organic page views it took from May the 20th until August the 10th, 2019. So what's that? May, June, July, August. It's 
sort of around three months or so. I'm sure I could figure this out in post-production and put how many days up on the screen now. Um, and in total, that was 429 users, uh, but that could be a lot of bots and things like that. So that's how long it took to get to a total of 100 organic page views. Okay, for site one, it hit the total organic uh, page views for 500 page views. That happened on about the 7th of October. So again, I'll put how many days up that is on, on the screen there. Uh, now let's look at 1,000. So on the 2nd of November 2019, it had gone over 1,000 organic page views, which was sort of less than a month since hitting the 500. Okay. And so if we just look at site one throughout the whole lifetime, so that's from May the 21st, 2019 to uh, today, which is October the 28th, um, you can see sort of this is a, a monthly uh, view and it's got 90,000 page views overall. And it sort of, you know, it had a very long, slow sort of plateau, but around February 2020, that's when it started taking off. Uh, May, a year after I'd started the site, it looked like it was going to really take off. And then it suffered um, a bit of a, a drop and a plateau, but it's recovering back now. So you can just compare your own site with that. But let's look at the next site. So this is site two, which is in the wedding niche. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't catch it. <laughs> so starting with site two, let's just look at the lifetime. So this site is not the best site I've got, it's not doing the best, but it's, I started it around uh, the end of October uh, 2019, and it's got about 10,000, 6,000, so it's got about 10,600 page views in total. And as you can see, it was growing, uh, but then it's kind of dropping off now. But let's look at those milestones for this site, which isn't doing that well. So site two got up to 100 organic views on March the 2nd, Again, I'll put up the how many days that was because I'm really terrible at maths and I can't do it in my head right now. Uh, let's look at how long it took to get up to 500 uh, total organic views. So site two managed to get to about 500 uh, organic page views around the 6th of April. So about a month later than after hitting the 100 page views, 100 organic page views. And let's look for 1,000. So site two actually hit a thousand organic page views in the same month that it hit 500. So on the 29th of April, uh, which is actually the day after my birthday. So uh, that was probably quite a good present for me at the time. Um, so it really did double in traffic within a month, this site. The thing I found about the ghost town period is it's a lot of hard work to keep motivated because you don't know if everything you're doing is actually gonna work. So if you don't pick a niche that you actually enjoy, it's never going to work. A bit like this guy. Okay, so let's look at site three. Let's just look at the actual traffic, the milestones that we're talking about today. So site three hit 100 organic page views after starting around the same period as site two, the sort of last week of October 2019. It hit that 100 organic page view milestone on January the 21st, 2020. It hit 500 organic page views on February the 26th. Again, you can see how many days that was. And it hit 1,000 organic page views around March the 14th, so a full month before site two. So what we do now is just compare the different stats. So when they hit the milestones, how many articles were on each of the sites and also the top five posts. I'm gonna give you the amount of page views that each of those were pulling in, uh, both page views and percentages. So let's have a look at that on the screen now. Okay, so I just wanted to put these stats together. So the first bar chart here shows the sites one to three, uh, and when they actually hit the 100 page views, 500 page views, and 1,000 page views, how many articles did they have? 
So uh, you can see that site one had much more, about 35, 31 for site two, and 26 for site three when they hit 100 page views. And uh, then you can see for 500 and 1,000 there how many actual articles were on the site when they hit that mark. The next bar chart just gives you kind of a uh, comparison of how many days it took to get to each point. So you can see that for 100 page views, site one and site three were around the same, whereas site two took a lot longer. Uh, for 500 page views, again, site one and site two, not too far off, uh, but obviously site three did it in less time. Again, site two took a lot longer. And for 1,000 page views, it's almost identical with site three uh, taking the least amount of time and uh, site two taking the most amount of time. Next is a couple pie charts that I made up for you guys, which just show the breakdown of the articles. So it's the top five articles and how much traffic they were bringing in overall. So you can see uh, for site one, when it hit 100 organic page views, the top five articles were bringing in about 50%, uh, almost exactly 50%, and the other articles were bringing in the other 50%. When it hit 500 page views, it was a little bit more. I'd just gone over uh, 50, uh, f about 54 percent. And again, when it hit a thousand page views, the top five articles were bringing in over 60 percent of the traffic. And you can compare that to site two, where the top five articles were bringing in. Uh, just short of 90% of the traffic when it hit 100 page views. Uh, again, over 90% when it hit 500 page views. And it's pretty much the whole traffic when it hit 1,000, which is still the case now. Uh, the top five articles, top three articles really, are bringing in the majority of the traffic with the first article bringing in over 60%. For site three, it looked a lot different with the top five articles bringing in about 75% of the traffic when it hit 100 organic page views. Uh, at 500 page views, it was more like sort of 80% of the traffic coming from the top five, with article one and two kind of having the most traffic. And when it was 1,000 uh, page views, it had gone up a little bit more, but still Article 1 and Article 2 were bringing in the most amount of traffic. So you can kind of compare that to your own numbers and uh, see if it looks something similar. This is not ideal. Um, ideally, the top five articles shouldn't bring in more than sort of about 30% of your traffic because if it does uh, and you're outranked, it could be quite dangerous for you. I also wanted to show you my Google Search Console. So what I've done is kind of shown you a snapshot of the first six months of the site. Now, I had an issue with site one because uh, I started back in about May the 20th, 2019, but for some reason, I'm not able to go that far back actually on this screen here and show you that. So it's gone back as far as the 28th of June, but it shouldn't be too far off. So you can see for site one, uh, in that first six months period, it got about 879 clicks. The total impressions were about 33,000. The average click-through rate only about 2.7 and the average position 37.9. If we look at site 2, uh, it got just a little bit less in terms of clicks, but a lot less in terms of impressions. But the average click route, but the average click-through rate was much higher for this site, and the average position is 31.2. And then site three, uh, superstar site really for the first six months, uh, it got over 3,000 clicks, 71,000, nearly 72,000 uh, impressions. The average click-through rate was about 4.2 and the average position 18. And you can see uh, from about the 20th of February there, it started that hockey stick growth. So this site really grew quite quickly. Wow, it's a pillowcase, pillowcase car. Yeah. Are you yeah. Well. Still, you'll have a good 
Phil, Phil, can you also move a little bit? Okay, so if we turn to YouTube now and we look at this channel, Passive Income Phil, as it's now called, um, how long did it take me to get to 100 subscribers, 500 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers? How much did it get, take me to get to the first 100 watch hours, uh, the first 1,000 watch hours? So let's look at a few numbers to do with this YouTube channel and then we'll look at a second YouTube channel too. So I started this channel around the 10th of August, I think that was the first video that went up and I hit a, th a hundred subscribers for this channel around uh, the 17th of November 2019. So again, I'll put up how many days that was there. Um, if we look at a 500 subs, how long did that take me? So I got up to 500 subs on this channel on the 3rd of June. So it took a while to get up to there, another extra 400 or so subs and a thousand subs well so this channel passive income fill it hit over a thousand subs on september the 15th so you can see that it took uh, less time between 500 and a thousand than it did from 100 to 500. now let's look at the watch hours so this channel hit about 100 hours of watch time uh, by about september the 10th so that's within about a month of starting the channel it hit 500 uh, hours of watch time by November the 23rd, 2019. And it hit 1,000 hours of watch time by January the 17th, 2020. So in this case, with this particular YouTube channel, it seems that the watch hours uh, came much more easily than the subscribers. So perhaps that's just my approach or just that's the way it works in this niche. But let's look at another YouTube channel just to compare. Now, uh, I have to admit that the other YouTube channel isn't getting the same amount of numbers as this one is, but it's still useful to know because it's still growing. So here we're looking at the YouTube channel that I collaborate with, uh, with Michael, and it's all about teaching the IELTS, which is an English exam. So we actually launched this channel uh, back in March of 2020, um, and it's, sort of on about 6,000, uh, nearly 7,000 uh, views. It's got about 337 uh, watch time hours and we're up to about 416-ish subs. Now I have to admit this, this is a strange one because uh, I scheduled a video to go out on the 1st of March but for some reason I put it up just before December but the, the video wasn't live so the stats are a bit strange on this one. But let's look and see how long it took us to get to the first 100 subs and the first 100 watch hours, because obviously that's as far as we are in this journey. So for this YouTube channel, The IELTS Grind, we managed to get up to 100 subs uh, by about May the 5th. May the 4th it was 99 and May the 5th it went up to 112 apparently. So overnight we, we had about 14 people sub. Um, and I have to admit, a lot of those subs were coming from Facebook uh, because I was posting a lot of helpful videos and answering people's questions. So we got a lot of people coming in through that rather than from YouTube search. And it's been sort of every 60 days or so, we seem to gain another 100 subs. That's kind of how it's happening with this particular YouTube channel. We're in a very competitive niche, apparently. Didn't realize how competitive it was to begin with, but that's it. And uh, to get to the uh, 100 watch hours, let's quickly look at that. So we managed to get up to the 100 uh, watch time hours by about July the 21st on this uh, particular YouTube channel. Uh, we're getting quite a, a low view duration, just I think because we're dealing with non-natives and if they hear two uh, native speakers uh, talking, depending on the, the student who's watching, they get a bit scared and they don't watch the whole thing, unfortunately. So for the YouTube channel, uh, this is when we hit those milestones and how many videos we actually had up. For Passive Income Phil, as you may know, I publish sort of once a week. Sometimes there's an extra video that gets thrown in, not very often. So for the Arts Grind, we publish twice a week um, and we've just started putting up an extra short video uh, a week now. 
So in terms of pizza day or curry day, you know, I love curry, love pizza. We like to make money. So just in case you don't know what we mean by pizza day, pizza day just means when your website or YouTube channel makes your first $5 and you could buy a slice of pizza or maybe go down, uh, you know, the curry house and get a chicken korma or something. Uh, it's just that kind of motivational uh, first dollar or first five dollars that show you that what you're doing actually does work and it does work um, so if you've been following my journey you know that I'm not making as much money as other people but it's really because I haven't really spent a lot of time on monetization I've only just relied on Amazon I don't even have the ads on my site at the moment it's something I'm going to do soon because I've kind of have to get off my ass and learn how to do it properly and luckily project 24 they've just dropped a brand new course explaining it step by step so even i can understand it but which is great uh, but let's look at um, the money that i have made throughout so site one um, here you can see this is from last year on amazon and basically i made pizza day sort of uh, between november and december but in fact um, before September, I had put on um, another sort of Amazon tracking code, and I did make a little bit of money. So, but unfortunately, they kicked me out the uh, the program that time. I lost all the data. But I think probably my pizza day would have been somewhere between August and November. So I started this site back in May. So we're looking at sort of I. Well, about six months possibly uh, to get to pizza day on this site. Looking at site two, um, I did put a couple Amazon links on it, but not many, and it's made absolutely no money. Uh, but it does look like uh, someone ordered something this month. So maybe finally I'm going to make a little bit of money on that particular uh, website. Uh, site three, uh, so it's not a very good site for Amazon. It's what I would call a service niche. So it's it's kind of, um, it's services basically. Uh, so you need someone to do something for you and that is what the niche is about. It's not a hobby niche. It's not like uh, dirt biking or something. It's more like a, you know, a notary kind of service, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and so it did make a little bit of money. It actually made pizza day by, um, if you calculate this, so probably by October this year. So this one took a full year to reach pizza day just because it's not really monetized that well and it's not really targeted for Amazon. In fact, none of the products are anything connected to the niche. The other thing in terms of YouTube, uh, this actual channel, Passive Income Phil, um, it did actually make some money um, on Amazon as well. So last year it ma managed to get just short of $5 and if we look at this year and, and so this year you guys kindly bought a few things and it's made five dollars and fifty six so that's pizza day at the very least but of course um, i do make money in other ways by recommending the project 24 course which i you know i'm a member of and i really do support it i think it's a really good course um, and i spoke about that in another video where i revealed how much money i managed to make just through that kind of thing uh, but yeah, so even this YouTube channel made pizza day, but again, it took from probably about, uh, I started this channel probably about June, uh, June or August, that sort of period. So it probably took somewhere between four and six months to start making money from Amazon, but probably about three or four months to make money through other affiliate programs. So as you can see from my traffic, it did take a fair while to get up to those 100, 500, 1,000 organic page views. But also the traffic, it kind of increased almost by 50% from month to month. So if you hang in there, if you keep producing those posts, if you can keep producing those videos, you will eventually get the traffic that you're looking for. It just takes a bit of determination. However, I don't think I would have managed this if it was just me. I really found that joining Project 24, which is the course by Income School, really gave me the motivation and the support to keep, keep going for months and months and months without much happening. So if this is something that you're struggling with as well, why not click on the link in the description and you'll find out more from the webinar. So if you're a fan of my channel and you're not a subscriber yet, well why not become one now? 
click that button and the notification bell and you won't miss any of my future videos. I'll see you in one soon. Bye. British people, are you okay with driving on the non-right side? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. Brilliant.